Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Simplify the following fraction. The numerator is the square root of the quantity 10 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of the quantity 10 plus the square root of 2 and so on until we add the final term, the square root of the quantity 10 plus the square root of 99. The denominator is the square root of 10 minus the square root of 1 plus the square root of the quantity 10 minus the square root of 2, and so on until we add the final term, the square root of the quantity 10 minus the square root of 99. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we solve this problem? Let's look for a pattern in the numerator and the denominator. In the numerator, we have the square root of 10 plus the square root of 1. Then we have the square root of 10 plus the square root of 2, and so on, until we have the square root of 10 plus the square root of 99. In the denominator, we have a similar pattern, except each time we're subtracting the square root. So we can write the numerator in general terms as a n is equal to the sum from k equals 1 to n squared minus 1 of the square root of n plus the square root of k. In our particular problem, n is equal to 10. The denominator can be written as b n, which is the sum from k equals 1 to n squared minus 1 of the square root of n minus the square root of k. We are looking to simplify the ratio a n over b n. So how can we do that? Whenever there are nested square roots, it's a good idea to take the square of the terms. So let's take the square root of n plus the square root of k minus the square root of n minus the square root of k. We'll take this difference and we'll square it. We'll expand this binomial, which gets rid of some of the square roots. Then, plus square root of k will cancel with negative square root of k. We then have 2n, and we have minus 2 times the square root of n squared minus k. We can now take the square root of both sides. So we have the square root of n plus the square root of k minus the square root of n minus the square root of k is equal to the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of the quantity n minus the square root of n squared minus k. From here, let's take the sum of both sides for k equaling 1 to n squared minus 1. Let's focus on n squared minus k when k goes from 1 to n squared minus 1. If we evaluate this, we'll see that the terms will be n squared minus 1, n squared minus 2, and it'll decrement all the way to 1. So this goes from 1 to n squared minus 1 in descending order. But we could similarly have a different index where we just take k. If we just have k, and it goes from k equals 1 to k equals n squared minus 1, this will be exactly the same terms in the reverse order. So we can substitute because we'll have exactly the same terms when we have k going from 1 to n squared minus 1. So on the right hand side, this summation is equal to the sum k equals 1 to n squared minus 1 of the square root of 2 multiplied by the square root of n minus the square root of k. Now we can simplify this formula tremendously. The left hand side is equal to a n minus b n, and the right hand side is equal to b n multiplied by the square root of 2. We have a simple linear equation. We'll add b n to both sides, then we'll factor b n on the right hand side, and finally we'll divide both sides by b n. So we get a n over b n is equal to the square root of 2 plus 1. And that's the answer! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.